Hi guys, I'm Jo from Archie Kitten Cat and Joanna Ivy. Um, today I'm going to show you how to make um, a Game of Thrones Melisandre necklace. I'm not going to go for the, the full necklace, I'm just going to go for the choker part of it. Once I've shown you how to do it, it wouldn't be that much of a step away to be able to do the rest of it. It's just, you know, time consuming. So basically I found this picture of the lady from Carth um, and like copied one part of it just so that I've got one link if you like. This is basically what, it's, what it looks like. I've cut out, for my, for my neck, I've cut out uh, nine of these. Please do. You just basically just go over the top of the sheet with glue. Just drag it out into the right shape. Don't worry too much about it going over the edges. I think this might have dried now. Ish. So yeah, so the next thing we're gonna do is just trim off any bits that we don't want from those. So now that we've got these two, they are now much more, you know, they're much harder. I'm gonna just bend them slightly, if I can. Just bend them in. I'm gonna be using this side, the white side. Right, the next thing to do is to get the liquid pearl. Right, so we need some big-ish rivets there. Try not to create a point. Try and make it circular, like a rivet would be. We need to put little shapes in between, little dots. These can be a bit more shaped in the they don't have to be perfect dots. So two in between there, I think. And then about five down here. So you need to do all of them like that first. And the edges. <clears throat> Well, whilst that's drying, actually, I'll be doing something else. Right, so cut out an oval shape that will fit in the middle of these like, links, so it doesn't have to be perfect. And just pile a great dollop on. A bit, that's obviously too big, well it's too big, but again we just cut you with the scissors, it's fine, don't worry about it. Right, so that will fit inside of there, but that's not the right colour. Right, so I've painted it with this neon orange colour and then I've painted on the top of it with this red vitriol um, glass paint which is solvent based. Now this stuff is n not very nice, it's a bit sticky and you have to wait quite a while for it to dry. So what we're going to do now is we're going to glue gun from there to there and then we're going to glue gun from there to there and you need to do that with all nine of your pieces. Basically you want about a centimetre there, about a centimetre and a half maybe there. So that's now dry, that's fine. So let's imagine you've got all of your pieces together now, you're gonna to have to paint it black. Right, so I've just checked it out and it is actually suspended from the top piece, like here and here, and here and here. Oh, 
Right, I found some uh, polyacrylic darning cotton. Uh, funnily enough, I've got it in a nice goldish colour. Again, this is just something that I found in my box of stuff upstairs. I've got all sorts of stuff. This is reasonably strong stuff. It, I think it would hold this together quite well. Now it's just a case of attempting to glue it on. Right, that's practically finished but I just want to give I just want to give this uh, necklace a quick spraying over with clear lacquer this is really really cheap from the pound shop you don't get masses of it so 250 ml but it will set the necklace um, hopefully stop all the dust going all over the place the gold dust that one even though I do think the gold dust looks very pretty on my skin it like just it like gets everywhere so spray with this and then I'm going to tie on these little bits of ribbon to either end and then it's pretty much done. <laughs> put on red, put um, a bit of a hair extension in just so that I've got the plait. Red top, red pashmina scarfy sort of thing. I think that's pretty good. 